Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Golden Boy President says a fight between Canelo, I was born ready, and Gennady had no guys. Golovkin, a rematch is very close. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We are working. Also, shout out to Lance Pugmire, writer with the Los Angeles Times. The link to my source is in the description box in case you want to read it verbatim and also give Los Angeles time credit and you know what I mean give them some viewership but it looks like Lance talked to Eric Gomez president of Golden Boy and he says Canelo versus Triple G they're in the final stages of finalizing a rematch and he says quote it's very close to being done right he says, as far as De La Hoya, he's been traveling. Obviously, Lemieux fought. Cotto for, versus Saddam Ali, two Golden Boy fighters. They fought. So he says he's traveling now, waiting for a reply from Tom Loeffler. Right? Tom Loeffler told the Los Angeles Times last week that he was hopeful that the deal could be reached by the end of the week. Right? And his quote from Eric Gomez is... Our main goal is the Canelo versus Triple G rematch. We're not even thinking of Billy Joe Saunders. End quote. So, I want to give my thoughts. Bravo. I, I think this is um, it's what boxing needs. I, I, you guys, I'm very consistent on the channel. And certain fights, Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev, maybe even Floyd and Maidana. When, when there's a... There's a, a level of concern, if you will. Was that a draw? Was that a who won? This guy won this guy. It's right for the boxer, especially if it's a big fight, to settle the score and prove what's what and see who who's who. I, I personally think Daniel Jacobs is kind of owed a, a rematch with Golovkin, but they're going to push that aside. Canelo is the bigger star. Golovkin will make more money, and Canelo will make a lot of money. So I'm not mad at this fight, and I understand the business of boxing. So I'm glad that I'm hearing news that they're very close to concluding this matter and making an immediate rematch. Because if you think about it, they were saying we're going to wait and bypass negotiations all of November, and we're going to see what happens in Lemieux Saunders, which to me, that fight shouldn't really determine what happens with Canelo versus Triple G. Because once again... Saunders looked great. I mean, no one knew what type of performance he would put on. But at the end of the day, the money, more money is in a rematch to a highly disputed fight. The Adelaide Bird scorecard, the draw, Canelo won, Triple G won, it was a draw. You know what I mean? There's going to be more money in that. Plus the, the star power of both Canelo and Triple G. So to me, it, it didn't make sense to wait for Saunders, Lemieux. They should have just been gunning for this but looks like they've been doing their job behind the scenes to make this fight and i'm not going to complain um there's other great fights i really like me personally i really want to see triple g versus jamal charlo that's his number one mandatory but i understand this obviously the canelo and triple g saga needs to be concluded as far as canelo's team even though billy joe saunders listen to me even though billy joe saunders looked phenomenal versus david lemieux to me Golden Boy, I don't know for a fact, this is my speculation, and this is my opinion, but if David Lemieux would have knocked out Billy Joe Saunders, I think he would be a candidate. Like, you, you see Eric Gomez of Golden Boy, and he's saying, our main goal is Canelo Triple G rematch, we're not thinking of Saunders. I think that's because of how Saunders looked in their fighter Canelo what he struggles with. That's my honest opinion, right? Billy Joe Saunders actually post-fight called it. He says, I'm not 14 stone. I'm not overweight. I want to fight Triple G. I want to fight Canelo. And he says, this performance probably scared him off. 
Now, I don't know really about Triple G, but and I don't even know about Canelo. I don't know what he personally feels. But in terms of Golden Boy, and listen to what I'm going to say, and I'm going to explain it to you guys. In my honest opinion, why wouldn't Canelo, who already has a loss to Mayweather, and arguably a loss to Edison Lada, and arguably a loss to Triple G already, why wouldn't he fight Triple G and make more money than Billy Joe Saunders and deal with the style that he's already been in there with for 12 full rounds just in September. I was at the fight. Great fight, by the way. So to me, I think Golden Boy, they're looking at it. Strict. Like if Billy Joe Saunders, like I said, if he would have gotten knocked out and David Lemieux was the option, they probably, I'm not going to say they absolutely would pick him, but I think he would be more in the running. But now that Billy Joe Saunders won and how he won using foot speed, using athleticism, a level of slickness, that has given Canelo problems. If you look at Canelo's toughest fights, it's been mostly that. You could say Triple G was a tough fight, who fights different than that. But I can, I can name more fights where Canelo had issue with guys with fast, fleet feet. Floyd Mayweather, Austin Trout, a southpaw, just like Billy Joe Saunders. Edis Landi Lada, a southpaw, just like Billy Joe Saunders. And these are southpaws at 154, 155, whereas Billy Joe Saunders is at 160. Now, again, it's a different fight than David Lemieux because I rate Canelo higher. I'm not saying Billy Joe Saunders would absolutely bomb out and dominate Canelo like that. But in my honest opinion, the Golovkin fight makes more money for Canelo. And it's a style you were just in there. And they, I think Golden Boy realizes that the Billy Joe Saunders is a tricky, tricky ass fight for Canelo. At least with Golovkin, Floyd always says it. Floyd Mayweather always says it. He said Golovkin, oh, he's solid. No special effects. See, Billy Joe Saunders, if you really think about boxing, and I'm not saying Triple G's a bad fighter. I'm not saying Triple G can't win the rematch. But if you think about boxing, Triple G doesn't really have much special effects much pizzazz where it's just like oh shit he was doing some sweeting off the ropes and you know what i mean catch and shoot he's not really doing that he's offensive he'll pressure you he has a hell of a chin very good jab and he has power and he's good nimble good balance um making the ring small on you he does you know what i'm saying offensively he does a lot of things right but when you look at billy joe saunders that's a different puzzle and in my opinion that style has puzzled Canelo a lot more. So I think that's what's pushing G G Luff or Golden Boy to rather make this. It's a bigger fight money wise and then it's a style you were just in there with that Canelo probably feels with some slight adjustment he can beat and Golden Boy's looking at it like Billy Joe Saunders, the way he looked, he looked fantastic versus David Lemieux, who's a different fighter, but again, that style has given Canelo more problems than come forward guys. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's just my two cents on why. I can't I can't prove it or whatever, but that's just my honest speculation on the situation. Because if David Lemieux won, I think he, he would definitely be um, an option for Canelo. Especially, like, it's, let's say he knocked out Billy Joe Saunders and had an emphatic win, just like Billy Joe Saunders had an emphatic win outboxing the hell out of David Lemieux and hurting him. Then I think he had been somebody that they explored. But now they've seen how Billy Joe Saunders win. He was using movement. He was having fun in there. He was confident. He was pot shotting. So they're like, hell no. Nah. Because Canelo, see, and this is the thing Canelo's not great at cutting off the ring. You can say whatever skills you like about him. Great left hook, uppercut, all that. But he's not great at cutting off the ring. So to me, the Billy Joe Saunders stylistically would give Canelo some issues and fit versus Golovkin. Golovkin's there to be hit. He's coming for you. He's like the Terminator. He's coming straight at you. And you know what I mean? And he was reduced to just jabbing. Couldn't get no body shots off. But Billy Joe Saunders was a lot more slippery than Golovkin, than I've seen Golovkin ever be, right? With just movement and athleticism. So... Nonetheless, I'm not going to complain because they're both good fights. In my honest opinion, I know this wouldn't happen, but that would be killer if they could do Canelo Triple G Part 2 in co-main event, Billy Joe Saunders versus Danny Jacobs. Or Jacobs said he wants to fight in April if they can make Billy Joe Saunders. If Billy Joe Saunders can't get a fight with um, Canelo Triple G, then he needs to look at the next, next available best guys, and that's like Jamal Charlo. Which I think 
Jamal Charlo, they said he could fight on HBO, but he hasn't done it yet. So I think a ready-made, easier fight would be the guy that just moved over to HBO, that just called you out, Danny Jacobs, and then Billy Joe Saunders, who just fought on HBO. You know what I mean? So that seems a natural fit. And I would say if Canelo and Triple G fight next in May, single to mile weekend, then Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs fight, let's say in April, the winner is definitely deserving of the winner of Canelo versus Triple G too. So good news at the middleweight division. Both Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs are coming off shutout performances against um, names in the division, David Lemieux and Luis Cuba Adias, who was undefeated. You know what I mean? They dominated their, their foes. So I would like to see them fight. And then obviously the Canelo versus Triple G, Judgment Day, settle the score. Link in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of Canelo versus Triple G? Who will make the best adjustments and win officially? Drop your thoughts. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.